day is coming August, I will finally be a senior final year student. So I have this thing called final year project, right? So recently the uh, the final year project window is it finally like open last a few days ago. A few days ago, Monday. So for someone as stupid as stupid as me, right? I def I defy all logical expectation of a person choosing for a final year project. I immediately managed to narrow down from 100 plus projects to 5 projects within 30 minutes eh? was it 30? 15 minutes your boy managed to just cut like 90 to 95 percent of the projects and narrow it down to just five projects and i narrow it and i narrow it down even further to two projects on the same day itself because thankfully more of the professor the moment i sent him the email the next minute right when the when the uh, second hand uh, turned just a slight bit, I, I realized. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, cool. Because I really. Uh, I'll explain this one later. I'll explain what what the hell I was doing that for later. Okay, uh, let's get back to the FYP project one. <laughs> so then he was like, uh, "Are you are you okay to teams?" And I was like, in my head, I was like, "Oh boy, we're gonna talk for like thirty minutes, right?" And I was like, "No, I, there's no way I'm talking t for thirty minutes at midnight." He replied to that email a minute later. It was midnight. It was crazy. And so, and then I sent him two minutes later, he sent me a reply. He's like, hey, it's up to you, man. Uh, some, somewhere along that line, he's like, it's up to you. Uh, uh, we'll probably talk for almost five minutes. But honestly speaking, we talk for more than that because uh, your boy has a lot of questions to ask him. And uh, let's just say the moment he talked, right? The moment he opened his mouth, right? The prof opened his mouth. I immediately remember which prof this person was because the prof looked very different in the photo and I was like, wait, I've never seen this prof before. But the more he opened his mouth, I was like, oh no, I reckon, I know this prof. This prof quote unquote taught me. Why quote unquote? Because he technically didn't really teach much. I couldn't be bothered to listen to him. But the moment I realized, but of course, the moment I realized that, right? It didn't mean that I straight away rejected him. I just wanted to hear what he has to say because you know sometimes professors they, they can't teach for shit. But when it comes to like projects and stuff, right? They they are like God sent, you know. They they are so insane. They they are they are so insane when it comes to projects. I know I know that because I've seen some professors, they can't teach at all. But when it comes to projects, well, they are knowledgeable, man. And that's probably the reason why they're in this university. But yeah. Aside from that, before I further dox myself, um, what's the next? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, uh, let me just fast forward the song. Good. Okay. Cool. So, I listened to him talk, talk, talk. I was, I, I had a lot of questions. Honestly, usually for me, I'm someone that likes to give a good read. So if you ask me like you have any questions, right, I can't ask you any questions because it's, I'm still like processing things in my mind. So, so after I processed all the information, I had like a lot of questions. De depending sometimes if your if the project description doesn't have much, I'll have a lot of questions. Sometimes the project description has a lot of words. I'll also ask a lot of questions. It's de it depends. It depends on how interested I was in. I was very interested though. <laughs> I was very interested because he only gave like two liners for his project description. So I was very, very interested. Uh, it was a uh, project relating to hydrogel, which is your bioprinting and stuff. Which, uh, funny enough, in the end, I actually went to another professor and um, his project was bioinformatics. So I, I went for it. <laughs> because, uh, of course, let me just see long time ago i think eight years ago i actually wanted to go into bio studies but but i can't say this out loud because my parents are outside um let's just say they didn't want me to they didn't want me to take up bio studies because they were telling me like the industry is bad and stuff and i agree 
I agree. Bioengineering is a is a like a conflict field, you know. I have seen horrors of uh the bioengineering industry, especially when it came to internship. Apparently, they offered some positions for uh quote unquote bioengineering, right? And their uh, and their pay, I mean, sorry, allowance, internship allowance, right, was five hundred. And guess who was the company by? Active. <laughs> so go figure it out. It's story, and it was not Active something. It was the something sports council. And they're only offering 500 a month. Worse than a diploma intern pay. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Honestly speaking. I was shocked when I read it, you know. It was one even worse than that. But um, we'll, we'll talk about it another time if I do remember. It was absolutely crazy. Yeah. So, in then I went for bioinformatics. Uh, I asked him a lot of questions about it. He more or less answered everything. But the problem is, once I confirmed with him that I wanted to take the project, right? I asked him a few more questions. He he decided to ghost me. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or not, <laughs> or either that he's waiting until like the uh, the exam period is over because technically now is the exam period. So he might be quite busy. He's he's a prof that. That took like seven, takes seven modules a semester. It's, it's those crazy profs. There are, there are some profs that are very good. They take a lot of modules, but they are very knowledgeable. They can teach, but uh, he's not one of them, sadly speaking. <laughs> he's not one of them. I've, I've attended like a few of his classes. And let's just say I'm better studying the content on my own. <laughs> not one life. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Really, I'm looking forward to it. Once they give me the materials that I asked for, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of curious what I'm going to learn from this entire project because your boy uh, knows how to code, knows how to do robots, knows how to quote unquote fabricate, knows how to 3D print, knows how to code, know how to do data science, data analysis. Your boy also knows how to do CADing. Your boy also knows how to do project management, knows how to do market research and stuff. Thanks for, thanks to this, um, this semester. So yeah, I'm kind of curious what this FYP is going to teach me. Is it going to teach me something, or is it going to ruin my mental health? <laughs> because he was telling me like the the projects I was interested in, right, requires a high level of mathematical thinking, and also at the same time, it's a project that is quite intensive because you're creating new knowledge and I'm like I, I just it's very confusing then what's the difference between us a master and a PhD uh, thesis because if that's the case all three fields are creating new knowledge though if that's how it is but I am pretty sure there's there's some caveat some catch to uh, to a undergraduate thesis, so yeah. Maybe not all undergraduate projects, uh, final final year projects are, are supposed to be finding new knowledge. Because apparently mine is finding new knowledge. Uh, yeah, apparently I'll be I won't be going to the lab. Sadly speaking, I was thinking maybe I get to go to lab experience what it's like to be a biomedical engineer or a or a biomedical scientist. But uh, I guess we are getting a lot of information online because this project is centered around viruses. So it might be a good idea for a non-professional like me to not go to the lab. <laughs> Though I wish to. I wish to. I, I might try. To get some context, I probably know one or two person that that, that probably works with these sort of things. But the question is whether they can get the clearance for me to come and uh, you know look see look see maybe do some value add for the uh, for the final year report. I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to it. I'm... But honestly speaking, right. Uh, even before that, right, I was torn between two projects, and they were also from the same professor. Yeah, I had five projects, right? Two projects from one professor, the other two projects from another professor, and it's and the fifth project from a third professor. And I was reading. I also was looking up on the seniors' remarks because those are very important. 
so im- <laughs> immediately all three professors are decent. Decent. They are not the worst. They are the de- most decent average. Okay, the third professor I wasn't really interested in because it seems like his will be very I don't know very complicated. It's almost insanely complicated. Cause it got to do with like neuroscience and stuff, and uh, I'm just like uh, uh, neuroscience, interesting. So maybe it's a uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea yet. Something, and the other one, the and the other one. Uh, so the the third professor was a no for me. The second professor, um, oh, he finally updated. Okay, now we can launch. So then for the second professor, because you know the teams, you know I teams he teams me, I teams him whatever, and then I realized what, <laughs> which prop that was. That's all. So cut. But of course, yeah, like last resort in case I couldn't get the project. But thankfully, I got the project. Apparently the projects I got weren't popular, so I, I don't understand. I I don't understand the meaning of popular, which is um makes sense, <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. So yeah, aside from that, um, I was torn between two of his projects. One was very deep learning heavy, and it was when you tell me like oh a deep learning machine learning project i tell you you got my interest straight away because i spent i think like one two weeks learning deep learning right so that in case when i had to do a presentation because my presentation i introduced my team the idea of deep learning i set up the course everything i mess with the notes mess with the performance and stuff so i had to learn how to do deep learning from the ground up so if like the the industrial figures in the area, or my professor asked me any question during the presentation, I could answer them with pure confidence. I could even point out mistakes in the other team's project because it was a group project. So there was other groups. So the other groups were also doing deep learning, right? And I felt the moment they started presenting, I already can point out flaws in their project. It just showed that I re- that I really studied it. I really studied uh, deep learning. Like I studied a lot and I could point out mistakes. Yeah. If only they allowed the other groups to ask questions, I think I would have like just whack, you know. I would just whack. And then I'll show them what the proper deep learning model is. <laughs> but yeah. Uh the only reason why I didn't pick the deep learning project, right, was because uh the difference between that project and the bioinformatics project is the prerequisite that it was stated. Both require a very high level of mathematical thinking, but the deep learning project requires an even higher level. And I was watching, tr- I was watching like uh, Chat GPT. I was watching NLP, how to do this, how to do that, and I realized, oh my goodness, there's so much math involved. <laughs> like whatever I learned was like the foundations, you know. There was there was <laughs> whatever I read and watched, right, was the intermediate level. The first thing that came to my mind was no. But was I torn up between the two projects? Yes, I was still torn about it. But at least now I know I kind of lean towards the bioinformatics project, which in the end I took. So hopefully I don't regret taking it. But the good the good thing is both require coding and uh, software development and stuff. So I think I'm still good, you know? I'm still good. Hopefully it doesn't bite me. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bite me uh, in the back. 